Three keys to success for your competition day. If you are bodybuilding, competing in physique, classic physique, anything that involves getting tanned up and showing your physique off on the stage, here are three key things you must do on competition day to make it go smoothly. One, eat early. And I'm talking about your main meals. Eat them at least an hour, if not two or three hours before you even begin pumping up. You do not want food sitting in your stomach. Remember, food takes a while to digest. I personally like keeping my food limited to just easy, simple carbohydrates. I like a lot of rice cakes. I do like throwing some fat in there like peanut butter because it helps slow down the digestion, keeps you fuller a little bit longer. But mostly rice cakes, peanut butter, a lot of honey on the rice cakes as well. Things that are easy, simple carbohydrates. I don't waste my time with protein sources the morning of a show. You don't need it. It's not gonna benefit you on stage. It's just gonna be heavy and sit in your stomach and probably make you have to go to the bathroom later on. So easy, simple carbohydrates, a little bit of fats, things just needed to pump your muscles up, make them full, get the veins out. And I like eating the bulk of this stuff at least two or three hours before it's even time to pump up, let alone go on stage. You wanna give that food time to digest. Get it out of your stomach so your stomach's not bloated or feeling heavy or distended. You want to be, be able to hit that ab vacuum or get those abs nice and sharp looking. The food has to be broken down, digested, and metabolized to fill up your muscles and pump up your veins. If it's not, you're not going to get a pump from the food. So eat early in the day. And then once you get closer to pumping up, if you want to make sure you keep that fullness, you can have little tiny nibbles of something, bites of a rice cake with honey. One of my favorite things to do is when I'm actually pumping up and it's getting close to stage time, I like just having sips of honey. It's pure sugar, but it's very, very light. A couple of sips, it's going to go right into the blood sugar, get those veins popping, not fill up your stomach at all, and it's pretty damn instant. Number two is stay bundled up and warm for as long as possible, guys. Heat is your best friend for getting a good pump and keeping a good pump. I oftentimes see new competitors start stripping down into their posing trunks and trying to pump up the instant we're let into the building. And I'm talking an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes even two hours before we're even going to get close to going on stage, I'll see this start to happen. And I understand, especially as a new competitor, you know, the adrenaline's flowing, you're nervous, you're excited, you're dying to get on stage, you're itching to get on stage, and you want to make sure you're prepared. You don't want to be rushing to get your pump, you want to make sure your oil is all applied, your tan is fixed well before you go on stage so you're not rushing, rushing or missing anything. And that's smart thinking, but just keep in mind, you're going to have plenty of time for this. At shows, people usually give out 40 minute, 30 minute, one hour, 15 minute heads up till stage time for your class. You're going to have plenty of time. Touching up oil and tan doesn't take long at all. Wait as long as you can. I like to wait, honestly, until I start pumping up. Um, I will lay down in the back room for as long as possible, resting, not using any energy, nibbling a little bit of food here and there. When it's time to start pumping up, I'll actually begin pumping up with my hoodie and long pants still on. Now, you don't want to push it to the point where you're sweating because that can start messing up your tan. What I like to do is push it right to the point where my, my skin starts feeling a little sticky. Right when you start feeling that slight warm discomfort to where you actually want to take off your hoodie because you're getting a little too warm now, that's like the perfect point for me. Then I'll finally take off my clothing as long as it's, I'm getting on stage within the next 20 minutes or so. Stay warm as long as possible. If you're cool, it's going to be harder to get a pump and it's going to be easier to lose that pump faster. Third and final tip, which kind of pairs well with the second tip, is wait as long as possible to start pumping up. Don't pump up immediately. I see this a lot as well. People will be so eager to start getting the pump, they want to make sure they get well pumped up, they'll start an hour before they go on stage. And this is problematic for two reasons. One, you can over pump. It is possible to pump up too much. If you're in the gym training arms, your arms probably look the best after your first few sets, after your first exercise or so, right? Veins are popping, the muscles are swollen, you still have good definition and cuts going on. But you'll notice by the end of the full arm workout, your arms are almost bloated. They're so engorged with blood that your veins are popping and they're probably huge measurement wise, but you actually lose some of your definition just because they're so swollen with blood. They get that feeling like you almost can't flex them. It feels like they're like blown up like a balloon. That's no good. You can actually lose definition by pumping up too much, fatiguing the muscle and getting too much blood in there. You can lose definition and look worse on the stage. So you don't want to pump up too much, AKA you don't want to pump up too long. So if you start for an hour, you don't want to be pumping up for an hour straight. 
At the same time, if you start an hour before you go on stage and you take maybe 15, 20 minutes max to get a perfect pump, you now have 40 minutes before you go on stage. You're gonna lose that pump in 40 minutes now. You're gonna cool all the way off. So what I like doing is I like waiting to about a half an hour before I go on stage, start pumping up lightly with my jacket still on until I get nice and warm, and take the pump ups slow, guys. It's okay to do a set here and there of arms, shoulders, and back, and then chill for a few minutes. Rest, relax, come back after a few minutes, do another set. Take your time, less is more, and you, you don't wanna over pump and you don't wanna get it done too fast and last tip on pumping up guys never pump up your legs don't do squats or lunges leave the legs alone They're the one muscle that does not need to be pumped up the over engorging thing happens extra fast extra easily with legs blood's always flowing down into them fluids are always flowing down into them because they're below us so i actually like to rest with my legs up elevated on a chair and my back flat on the ground while I'm waiting to pump up. Get the fluids out of your legs. It dries them out nicely, they look sharper, so don't pump up your legs. I hope these tips were helpful, guys. To sum it up, eat nice and early. Make sure that food is digested and out of your stomach before you start pumping up. Make, make it mostly just carbs and a little bit of fats. Two is stay bundled up and warm as long as possible, even into your pump up. Warmth is your friend, don't cool off. And three is wait as long as you possibly can to pump up and take your time pumping up. Less is more, don't touch those legs. Thanks for watching.